Yeah, I think we're in a good place training wise. I think I'm in a good place headspace wise. It uh, took a little longer than than I wanted to to do that from the head place perspective. The the break was definitely a well timed one in, as far as that's concerned. So. Um, Back to having fun and uh, just doing what I love every day. Over pieces and shares A bomb in the sky high Check the movement is here Yeah Yeah It's one heart, one shot Now the future is yours Go I'm turning dreams into reality In the lab with the formula and chemistry The memories spark and motivate And make the industry shake We put the bars in the brakes I'm talking one one chance at best, yes They ain't princes for the culture, keep the brushes fresh Flip the cover, work the drum, a passion never rests Freedom is our teacher, under pressure, now we bless See, I was so good for the go It's one art, one shot, now the future is yours, go Yeah It's one art, one shot, now the future is yours, go Alright, where to begin? Uh, well, the last time I did the uh kind of a training or racing update uh, was, I think the title was Des Moines or Bust, and uh, well, we busted. Uh, <laughs> I really wanted to be on that start line, but I wasn't really do, willing to do something stupid uh, in order to do so. You know, after St. George, um, in that tiny little crash, I ended up tearing my meniscus, and uh, you know, I ran really well in St. George, but as soon as I crossed the finish line, my knee turned into the size of a watermelon. Uh, so I got an MRI, had it, you know, had it uh, drained actually, and then um, got back into training. The last thing that I wanted to do was limp into Des Moines 70.3. Uh, I just didn't, I, I wanted to be on the start line fit and healthy or not race it at all. And so the plan with, you know, I set, we set up the plan with Coach Julie and Coach Matt to basically be exactly what it was if I was 100% healthy. Um, coming out of St. George and um, I got to the last weekend all was good I did the last big run uh, I think it was like 14 miles with about 8 miles at Ironman 70.3 pace and felt great during the run but woke up the next morning and my knee had ballooned up again and so then it made the choice you know obvious not easy but obvious that I just shouldn't race and so I ended up uh, going in getting some PRP uh, injections, uh, which was not a fun process at all. Um, I basically shut it down for two weeks completely. Uh, it was 10 days of pretty much nothing, kind of a, a physical and mental reset. And then it was another couple weeks of just swim and bike. And, and then I started to uh, run with the lever. And now I'm at the point where I am uh, doing about 50-50, so 50% full body weight running, 50% with the lever still. So most of my hard intervals, tempo runs, uh, and, and race pace work is on the lever. Um, and then most of my aerobic stuff is on the solid ground. That's gonna morph and probably switch in the next 10 days, because here we are 10 days, from less than 10 days from the Collins Cup. It, it uh, you know, we're waiting and waiting and waiting and, and finally got the nod, the official nod on uh, Monday and and so yeah now we're going to slovakia next i'm uh, very excited to be selected for the collins cup this is going to be a great opportunity i think it's really what the sport is going to need and and as things evolve i think we're going to see more of the um this type of thing i've i've said all along or for the last number of years that we need a system where the best athletes are encouraged to race each other, not encouraged to stay away from each other until championship races. No one wants to go and watch a race and pay attention when, 
the person that's out in front is out in front by 10 minutes, right? But that's kind of the system that's in place right now, just because, you, you know, especially for Ironman distance, you want to get to Kona as easy as possible, uh, you know, so you don't take too much out of you. And, you know, there's a huge difference between first and second or first and third at a lot of these races. And, you know, unfortunately, you know, outside of the, the North American or uh, the regional championships, you know, there's a huge financial difference as well. And so you're almost disincentivized from creating a good show for the fans to watch. And so I think that one thing that the PTO is doing really well is pitting the best people. They're getting the top guys to race each other and the top women to race each other. And that can only really help the sport. And I think we're gonna see that within the PTO and with outside of the PTO as well. Um, so I'm really excited to um, be in the mix to be, you know, it's an honor to be able to be selected to come in as the number three American. Um, you know, I'm, I'm anxiously waiting the, the day before the race to see who I'll get matched up against. I, I really have no idea uh, who they'll, they'll pit me up with. Um, you know, there's, yeah, there's, there's fun ways that a storyline could play out there. Um, but there's also a lot of, uh, you know, how do they do it so we can try to score the most points? You know, obviously, everybody is writing the U.S. off and and, and pitting the, you know, uh, them as underdogs. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's on paper. That's that's definitely the case. But uh, that's why you run a race, right? So with the summer not being what planned as far as a race schedule it you know it definitely wasn't also wasn't as planned in terms of training um you know my run volume was much lower um uh, but I, you know in all reality that was probably a big opportunity for me um i was running very well probably a little bit too well uh you know when you're chasing seconds and it's costing you minutes that's not the right um that's not the right ratio right like you want to get to the finish line the fastest not necessarily run the fastest and i you know i wasn't biking very well and whether that was you know I, I don't think it was a fitness thing i think part of it was i was so confident in my run that i was letting people you know ride away from me or i wasn't attacking the bike with the right head headspace that i need to be in a race and so uh, I was definitely able to put in a bigger bike focus this summer, uh, which has been good. Um, you know, all along I've been, you know, just like, yeah, I'm just not putting out the power I was in December in Aero. I'm struggling in Aero. Uh, and that's uh, resolved itself, um, you know, as, as the run volume backed off a little bit um, and just a little bit more attention to, to that. Um, and so I've been having some really good workouts on the bike, um, feeling really good about that. I'm swimming well again, uh, you know, it's been a great asset having, uh, going up to Boulder every Tuesday and Thursday and swimming with Julie's crew. That's, you know, that was showing in my early season races as well. Um, that, you know, you know, St. George is by far the best race that I've had, uh, swim race that I've had, uh, ever. And uh, yeah, I hope that uh, that continues as well. So, you know, yeah, I could have just sat and moped and I, you know, maybe spent a, a little bit too much time being a little bit, you know, too bummed and, and feeling sorry for myself, uh, you know, having to deal with this stupid knee. Uh, but in the long, the long term, I think it's gonna be an opportunity. I got to focus uh, again on some of my areas of improvement. And like I said, I, I don't think I'm gonna forget how to run. It's gonna come back. And uh, yeah, I mean, this year is all, you know, I'm doing things differently intentionally. And, you know, I knew that was gonna be sacrificing some race results early on in the season uh, in order to try to peak at the right time. I've always peaked. Uh, I've, I felt like I've peaked in May um, until last year when we didn't, weren't racing. And then I think I peaked in November, December for the, the two, you know, Ironman Florida and then Challenge Daytona. And so I tried to learn from that again and, uh, put that in you know put that into the schedule here um and yeah i'm looking forward to seeing how it's all going to play out and uh you know hopefully i get the results that i want and if i don't i'll just uh, go right back to the drawing board figure it out